Hi, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm your host, Shy. And I'm Winter. And today we have a guest, obviously. Hi, my name's T. Hey. hey. Yeah, this is T. <laughs> obviously, most of y'all know who my girl T is. Um, she does music. She's a model. She's, she's on bad. She's a comedian. She's a comedian. She does it all. She has a fat ass. Always yeah. a plus. So, yeah, we got our girl on the pod, and we know you guys are excited to have her. How are you feeling? I feel good. I think your ass is actually fatter than mine, though. When we were walking in here, I was like, God nah, damn. damn. I was like, I think that's one ass that's bigger than uh, mine. Honestly, I know. It's a little much. I'm trying to work out. I want it to actually go down. I don't need this fat of ass. Mm-hmm. I want to be like Paris Hilton in 2000. I know. It's, it's just skinny skin right now. Yeah. But the shape of Marilyn Monroe is always in style. It's a classic. Period. Um, well, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not swimming. Not swimming. Like just right in the middle. Uh, <laughs> oh my but you're fast. tall and lanky. Yeah. You have a nice shape too. Yeah, uh, yeah I like. I She's love getting model esque, and I'm getting short, pitbull, stumpy. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> We did a lot of stuff yesterday to prepare for this episode. Some things that we're not proud of. What did we do, Shy? We watched an episode of The Baddies, but I don't even want to go straight into that because yeah. I'm like, I don't think that's just who you are. Like, of I've course known not. You before. Yeah. I mean, I not know you, but I've known of you before, Baddies. Like, you know, you turning around with that fat ass in that lingerie. Hi, my name is T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been for that long. Yes. I love it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it because I'm like, oh, she's pretty. She's funny. She's bad. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So it's just you. like. I've seen you since then. I've seen you turn, like, you know. So you have built yourself kind of basically from, like, I don't know what your following started out to be, but now mm-hmm. I know it's at, like, almost damn near 2 million and you yeah. have a big following on TikTok. So how did that, what was the first thing that your viral moment, I obviously seen it, but yeah. how was it when you first had that interaction with that? Well, I actually had a whole different Instagram. Like, really? that was just a model Instagram. Mm-hmm. And then the finstas started happening this is like probably 2018 so i had made hi my name's t as my finsta where i could be like ghetto oh and like, right just she myself got a like loud yeah. i used to like post like messages between me and people like, oh my just, like just shady mm-hmm. boots like really yeah. bad stuff and then um and what, then, is it a public page um, was it public? I I can't remember. I think I kept going. You know, you when you go back and forth, yeah. it was like public, private, Mine whatever. Mine was hella private. I, I think I it was private lot. for a yeah. long time. Yeah. But um, wait, it was I don't in two thousand eighteen. It was a long time ago. Yeah, okay. it was like two thousand eighteen, mm. two thousand seventeen. And then yeah, I just did like I was just hanging out at my homeboy's crib, and I tur- I just did. I said, "Hi, my name's T, and I'm a mess." <laughs> and then that was like my first one, and uh. then. Um, a couple of my friends seen it on the Finsta and I kind of started letting other people in it, mm-hmm. like just like randoms. Yeah. And then people were like, I love this. I Do love more. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I started doing more and then the viral ones came, like the one in the faucet lingerie. Yeah, I was just about to say, is mm-hmm. he still doing that? Yeah, he still are makes you, lingerie. He is? Are you yeah. still cool with him? Yeah, mm-hmm. I just posted him not too long ago. Like he, me and him go back. So mm-hmm. you got to think about it. I've been in the industry since I was like 16. I, I've mm-hmm. known you for a while too. I always yeah. used to see you around just like an LA party. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I've been in yeah. L.A. since I was like, I want to say like 18 damn near. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I went in L.A., then I moved away for a couple years, mm-hmm. moved back, mm-hmm. and then really was like set here when I was like 20, 21, and that was 10 years ago. Yeah. So, you know, damn, that shit is crazy. Like, time flies, you know. Because weren't you living in Atlanta? Yeah, but I lived mm-hmm. in Atlanta too, but that was during mm-hmm. a time period that I was out here. I moved oh, out there for like a year okay, and a half, okay. two years. Mm-hmm. Whatever, but you know, was he yeah. your manager at one point? Because I seen that like, I, I seen he was trying to like manage people. Was that ever a case with you, or was it just like y'all did content together in a sense? No, it was just that one time he was like, mm. pull up. He was like, you're gonna be big. You, everybody's gonna know. Hi, my name's T. Don't stop. Keep going. Mm. Put mm. on this lingerie. Right. Yeah, I was like, okay. Look. You know, because Fawcett <laughs> from back in the day, like before we had Instagram, it was Show Magazine. Mm-hmm. And oh, it was that like okay? Sean I remember that. And, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Like shit. that was a whole different era. So people don't even know about that. Yeah, like that is like the original Wait, LA what? era. Like that was where I Miracle know. Watts came from. Yeah. I think Drea um, did. Crystal, yeah, Didn't Drea. Drea. Yeah, a lot of girls came from Show Magazine. So oh, it was a mag. Oh, okay, it yeah. was a magazine. Yeah, so never, it was like an LA based magazine. It was LA based, right? I don't know if it was necessarily LA based, but yeah. I mean, when I shot for the magazine, I came to LA. Where are yeah. you from? I'm from the IE. 
Oh, you, oh my God! You, I, I got family that live in Rancho Cucamonga. Really? Yeah. Oh, Cucamonga. Where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. Oh wow! I don't know why. I thought you were from like Dallas or somewhere. Oh no! Well, I have family in Houston, so oh, okay. I probably I get that a lot. Yeah. Wait, so are your parents still together? I don't know. Master, do me questions. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so are your parents still together? So deep, so fast. <laughs> uh, no, but I know they still love each other. Oh okay. yeah, uh, I post probably. them on my YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just recently seen your dad and your mom uh, on your. On what I, you just recently posted, I guess. I be posting them, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always posted them, but this is like the first time I did like a, a whole like YouTube video with them. So yeah. subscribe. <laughs> I'm scared to post. I don't post my family really on the internet. I'm scared. People are too crazy. Yeah, like, I can't you don't with post it. them because uh -uh. everybody always be like, "What's Winner's mom look like?" Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. You yeah. don't want to post them. There's like one video of my mom out there from like some BGC thing that I did hella years ago. But okay. even then, like people literally, even just from that, people have recognized my mom, and that's just hella scary mm -hmm. to me. Like I, uh, I just don't. I'm too protective over my mom. That's like my only like real close family member yeah. so i just don't play that shit like at all my mom like, loves know? the attention she'd be like yeah. i just got stopped mm -hmm. in walmart yeah <laughs> like, my girl. Famous. Yeah, exactly. yeah. No, my oh, mom girl. doesn't mind it though i'm sure she doesn't mm -hmm. even the people who do like mm -hmm. recognize it. i think it's just more a fear for mine like, yeah you know yeah just, but which is understandable fear, though? like what's the fear? i'm just scared somebody might say something crazy to my mom or like just do something or, oh my god did y'all see that know. viral video that went on where that woman where this girl had like went to the her mom the Oh, the girl yeah. she was beefing with mom's apartment uh -huh. and was slapped. She's like, this your mother, huh? This your mother? And she was slapping the shit her out of her. Mom and the girl, the girl later got, killed. got killed. I would for that. honestly, I, mean, hey. I would put somebody six feet under Whoa, for touching my mom. I don't think mom. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. insane. But like literally she had a video, like I guess it was her op and she went to the mom's house and was slapping the mom oh, and posted it. wow. Girl ended up dying like a few months later. Well, yeah. I'm like, I, I mean, mean I mean, hey, you do out of line. You do that's out of line. Like you don't fuck with people, parents. That's yeah. actually insane. I just couldn't see that particularly happening to my mother. Yeah. Like, yeah. my mom don't play that no, shit. No, my mom yeah. is yeah. not exactly. going to let nobody slap her no, either. No. Bitch, yeah. my mom will yeah. fight you. Damn, <laughs> yeah, that's real. too bad. That's, that's terrible. Insane. That's not right. Yeah, people are just nuts. Like, you just don't know. And, like, I think that... I don't know. I feel like nobody really plays with me in public. But like, you know, my mom is like an older like lady, like a older white lady. They might think they oh, can play with not, her. She, I hate the way you describe your mom. Right. Her mom is hella young, hella cool, hella ch <laughs> like just my like, mom. She, she is not older our white lady. Like, when you hear older white lady, what do you hear? I think of my grandma. Yeah, family. exactly. No, so she's it's not like Melissa. Older Melissa that. be popping. Melissa is First popping. First of all, don't try to act like I just be putting my mom down. But like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like people just are disrespectful. Yeah. Like, they are. You think and she's I can just like no. her fan base is a little. Her fan base is a little crazy. I have a lot so. of. I like. I have a lot of fans, but I have a lot of haters too. Yeah. So, so I you feel like know. they would try my mom before they tried me. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's just what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. Like, please, she's gonna watch know. this fucking episode. Yeah. Shy, yeah. Stick up yeah. for me, shy. But that's my girl. <laughs> Mr. Like, yeah, you're painting her out to be like she's <laughs> like a little old white lady. Exactly. No, like, she's not like an old white lady. My mom is an old black lady. My mom is not even old for real, but. She's no. older than us. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, obviously, she ain't just about to box no bitch up like Lloyd right. Mayweather. Yeah. No, I, don't see <laughs> nobody, I just don't see nobody yeah. doing that. Like, that's like, that People story that you just bitch. shared right it's now. Insane. Some girl slapping that girl like, mom, I just never heard of no stuff. And like I feel yeah. like my mom also, like, she's not going to put up with no, my mom will talk shit too. And mm -hmm. like, she will. she will talk shit back. And yeah. I'm just like, please, no, no. I just can't. Because now I'm going to go <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I would go I mean? insane too. Can't so how do your parents deal with your um like you becoming like this social media influencer? Well, they always knew I was gonna do something loud and crazy. Yeah. So they wasn't really surprised. Right. They was just like, go ahead, do what you wanna do, like yeah. be who you wanna be. They always had me in performing arts and stuff like that as really? a kid. Yeah. So they wasn't like they always knew they I was were, gonna be shocked. in the light. They yeah. always knew. It, yeah. Like so it was just it just was. What I feel the same about that too, kinda. Yeah, no. You just I, know your kid is crazy and destined know, yeah. for greatness. When She's so like, you, <laughs> my mom was like, "You always loved the camera when you were a kid." Yeah, so right. it's like this wasn't mm -hmm. surprising, you know. And now I'm like, you know, I take care of my family. Like right. I, I take care of everybody. Period. So ain't nobody gonna be pressing Period. me about shit. Like exactly. I got the point. I take care of everybody. Mm -hmm. She big T when she walked big in. Tea. <laughs> big T. Big T. Big T. Not the little one. Freak nasty. So wait, you do music too? Yeah. I didn't know that. So what you singing? Are you rapping, girl? I do both. And I love oh. your music. I've seen oh, some of your music. I don't know why you don't make no music no more. I know. I said, she, I mean, <laughs> she might have to come out with a diss track now, but 
Uh, you rapped no. up? Yes, girl. Really? Yeah. I like your. I never heard your rap music, but I have yeah. heard your R and B. I rap and I sing, but I you mean, were um, very lucky, just to say the least. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I do. I, I guess I don't know. I can do both, but I think I'm just taking a step back. I went through a like lawsuit that kind of like knocked me off my pivot really bad. And, oh my god. Yeah. It was just. Damn. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. Um, it was just a lot, so we're gonna see. Yeah, no, uh, honestly, uh, don't let nobody take you down. Exactly, I, mean, I won saying. the lawsuit. I won the lawsuit. So, what you, what you hold? I agree, you, I agree. I think she's really good at it. If you won the lawsuit, keep going, bitch. And well, I was about to start, I, I literally started back, and then I met the guy who ended up stalking me there. Yeah, what a psychopath. So that threw me off my yeah. fucking pivot again, and I was just like, okay, maybe this is just God telling me to focus on something else. And we need a jingle for the podcast, so yeah, we can make up a jingle dingle wingle. Cheers. damn bitch you trying to get faded oh my okay oh lord wow, damn but um so <laughs> so okay so you do music and da 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 mm-hmm. and you sing and you rap yep period i'm independent period. independent period. artist so you pay for everything you do I pay it all for everything. I, pay, I don't have team you know people come in here and pitch in want to invest or whatever mm-hmm. they want right. to do here and there be careful but with that i ain't had no trouble with people it. people crazy you run into crazy people. I'm the craziest I person do. I run into. <laughs> so, I, Look, I, I thought the same. I thought the same about myself. No, no. I I keep business super clean. Like yeah. T as an entertainer yeah. versus T as an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. as a businesswoman. I don't play. I play all kinds of different type of stuff. Like I'm right. very, very specific, contractual, yeah. and to the point you honestly got lawyers same. On deck. yeah no i do look she yeah, got lawyers period. on deck. same no, I, I, I do that's really how you have to be though like yeah. you have to be on top of your shit especially just like as a woman in the industry mm-hmm. like especially as a pretty woman in the industry mm-hmm. people are gonna automatically think you're dumb automatically think mm-hmm. you don't know what you're doing and like they will try to get over especially in los angeles like a hundred percent they try to play with you because they think you're funny and they think you don't know what you're talking about right mm-hmm. what got you in that business like mindset like where you did you ever go to school before this I what tried you, to do, I did, what do you put on the little thing? What? You put some college. Some <laughs> college. <you're> like, <laughs> associate's degree. No, I, tried to, I tried to do some college, but I ended up getting my real estate license. Mm-hmm. And I used Everybody it bitch to does go, that. right? But that was when I was like 18. <laughs> oh, that's so hella young, yeah. I did it and um, I ended up getting into timeshare in my first deal. Like my first table that I sat with the first family, mm-hmm. I sold like $100,000. Mm-hmm. I got a uh, ten thousand dollar check mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it was just like from that point on i think i've always been in like sales and training mm-hmm. and right. like understanding business yeah. and oh you know, so from there you had that mindset from then i have that mindset. she does have a good yeah. business mindset because yeah, we've had does. some meetings mm-hmm. and like i love when i just like have meetings with other women who like know what the f- they're talking about mm-hmm. and like and just be on it and yeah just it. be mm-hmm. on it like you know what i mean like that's just such like a just a boss yeah. Yeah. And y'all were saying, you were like, you think social media influencers don't know what the fuck mm-hmm. they're doing or don't have any, any brains it's just like, behind them. Nah, like you have to have some type of knowledge to stay relevant, to mm-hmm. know how to get your platform to that certain level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But even this, this is like, this is exactly like the thing that you should be doing. Yeah. Like becoming a marketing genius mm-hmm. within your own right, giving people behind the likes. Yeah. yeah. Like right. flowers. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? You never know what goes on. Behind, behind the likes, likes. you're <laughs> such a creep. <laughs> you got serious. You're such a creep, bro. So obviously, you do all of these things, and you're doing them very well. Um, so how did you decide that you were gonna talk about baddies now, y'all? Is that okay? <laughs> She's like, are you ready? I just are wanted you to, you know, you know, because I know that you don't just identify with just that. I wanted you to well, know, of course, yeah. 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 But it's what's is going interest- on right now. Baddies is yeah. interesting it's just to what's identify going with on kind of right now for you. You decided to get onto a reality show known mm-hmm. as Baddies, yes, which it's- a lot of people who do watch this show know what that is, obviously, because they know what Bad Girls Club is. Um, what even made you want to do that? Because actually, I was very surprised to see you doing that show. Me too. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> Okay. Why is she doing okay, this? No, 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 no. <laughs> Honestly, I really I, was. Okay. I understand. Them. Okay, first, first, before, before we get into that, Baddies is a spinoff of Bad Girls Club. Yeah. And you were well, on that show. I wouldn't say it's a spinoff. Ooh. I would say that it Ooh. is. <laughs> no, I would say that Baddies is, I wouldn't say it's a spinoff. I would just say it's like a fake more ghetto remake. Well, everyone is spinning off and call yeah. it. It yeah. started from the show that was called Bad Girls yeah. Club that you were on. Yeah. So why were you on Bad well, Girls Club? Well, I was on Bad Girls Club because I was 22. 
And uh-huh. I felt like that shit was like no shade or anything. I'm 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 only saying I was surprised that you went on it because mm. I never looked at you like in that light of like how I look at all the other girls that are on the show. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? So when I did Bad Girls Club, I felt like I was still in kind of a mindset that like thought Bad Girls was like cool. I had grew up watching it, whatever, you know, and mm-hmm. then I got the opportunity to be on the show. I went on the show mm-hmm. and it was kind of a pivotal moment for me because I was like coming out of a relationship and I was like, you're about to pop and do your own thing or you about to stay in this relationship so i decided to go on tv and you know build my platform from there but i just was shocked that you did baddies because baddies is ghetto it's very you know come on it's it is i mean i mean obviously you can't talk bad about it no i'm not even gonna talk bad about it it's just i think that's like the thing like a lot of people were surprised that i did it because like a lot of people too were like being like i'm too good for that Mm -hmm. and like um, what am I doing? And like a lot of people don't understand why I did it, but mm-hmm. there's actually like so many reasons. Obviously, yeah. you said when you went on that type of a show, you yeah. were 22. Yeah. You know, I'm 29 now. So yeah. it's like, what, how is that making sense? But if I, I've been in the industry since I was 16, I've been doing commercials, acting, yeah. and um, music and modeling and all mm-hmm. of these like e-commerce and everything like that. Yeah. And then becoming Hi My Name's T, building my own brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And still not, um booking the big roles that I'm wanting to and I'm yeah. like everybody always was asking me love and hip-hop asked me come on this show come yeah. over here when I was working at I worked at BET I worked at MTV mm-hmm. over there at Wild and Out I didn't like that yeah mm-hmm. I'm trying to see I'm like what parts of the industry do I like yeah if mm-hmm. these people over here aren't giving me the recognition that I feel like I deserve they're not mm-hmm. giving me mm-hmm. the opportunities that I deserve then I have to come up with this brand hi my name's T where I can give the opportunities to myself right. yeah mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then use the marketing behind the show of a reality show called baddies to mm-hmm. promote everything that I already am doing to mm-hmm. expand mm-hmm. my brand and to keep going mm-hmm. but th- like those are reasons and then I did have a up relationship i would have did reality tv i would have did something like bad girls club when i was 22 yeah but i couldn't do it at that time because i was in a a very weird Mm -hmm. relationship like Mm -hmm. uh you know shout out to him whatever you know (laughs) you you know who is it name him no (laughs) fuck that that. no but you know there was a lot of control in that relationship where Mm -hmm. i felt like i couldn't do things like reality tv Mm -hmm. and it's like now it's like the like, opportunity yeah. presented is who, who cares Pe- people are doing all co- on, and and on top of that let everybody get to know the real fucking me everybody mm-hmm. gonna be like oh yeah that show ghetto or whatever okay but now what now if i'm on the show then what am i what am i i don't think i'm better mm-hmm. than anybody mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'm gonna do the same things that i'm doing over here that i'm doing over there mm-hmm. i come in here i'm just being me right i'll be the same bitch that's on baddies um looking like this all yeah. the time that's to the same bitch I am on <laughs> on commercial sets and mm-hmm. everywhere else because I'm sorry I'm not drinking the pickle juice yeah. but now yeah. let everybody what? <laughs> you know what pickle juice I'm talking about you know what real pickle juice I'm talking about no, no. Nicki said, Minaj huh? said, "If I drank the, if I took the pickle juice, that y'all didn't see that. Y'all got y'all ain't. We don't really Nicki follow Minaj Nicki Minaj like I mean, that. No, damn. I mean, well, I <laughs> like Nicki Minaj. And <laughs> she made it be known within her come up in the industry mm-hmm. that she wasn't the type of bitch to be like just accepting or settling for less. Okay. I got paid very handsomely to be on that show. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, already I already know. I already know they paying. Huh? I already know they paying. I don't talk about that. <laughs> That's not... Yeah. No, I already... That's ghetto. I already know that they... I know, already know that they're paying and everything like that. Yeah. And I do get what you... I 100% get what you mean. And, like, I also do know that that is what, like, the producers of Zeus and everything does pitch for, mm-hmm. for baddies. Like, this is an opportunity for mm-hmm. you to basically come on here and show who you are and all of those things. And, like, why while in a perfect world that would be amazing that a platform like that really did exist like that's great like yeah obviously now you do have uh people from baddies like their fan base now watching you which yeah Yeah. that is a that is a boost for you in some ways Mm -hmm. but also and i have the same experience from bad girls club because although i did get boosted when i first did the show off of just people know you know millions of people like knowing who I am Mm -hmm. it was like they knew me for not necessarily the best reasons Mm -hmm. and the producers will pitch to you all day no we're not doing it like last season this is here to show your guys' talent and show what it is but now you're on a show and it's these raggedy ass bitches hating on you and Mm -hmm. fighting you and it's like hold on bitch I didn't even come here for this because this the producer's First of all, producers are hella 
fucking manipulative. They're going to sit there and tell you what you think you want to hear all the damn time. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I've sat down with Lemmy. I've had the meetings with him mm-hmm. to do all that shit. And he's said the same exact thing. Oh, you know, I'm trying to, you know, let's give you a platform right here. And it's not going to be like that. And you don't have to fight if you don't want to. Come on now. You know damn well them bitches going to be bombing, going to be mm-hmm. swinging. And you're going to have to protect yourself. And at the end of the day, that is what it is going to turn out being. It's going to be some fighting bullshit. And ain't nobody going to be checking for no positive because that fan base is not positive. That fan base, all they want is drama and violence and negativity well, from people. Go so ahead. do you feel like it's been a positive transition for you from social media to everything that you've done now to where you are right now with baddies? Do you feel like it has been a positive transition? Do you feel like you have grown from that? Yeah. So far? I mean, yeah. I don't see it as like, I think because I was myself mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. because I stand 10 toes on that, yeah. that nobody can take that from me. Not I a agree. producer, I not an ugly it. Not yeah. a hater, not nobody. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that everything that was going on on camera, mm-hmm. that's what goes on in real life. Oh, really? Like, you know, okay. what I, mean? I mean, what? People always trying to manipulate mm-hmm. women in the industry, mm-hmm. uh, girls that are, you know, hating. the girls that don't like you, they don't like you, they want to yeah. they want to fight, they want to mm-hmm. hate, whatever the yeah. case is. So this wasn't anything new for me. So yeah. for me, it's like I'm getting more people that. Like, if, as long as you're yourself, yeah. the people are going to gravitate. And that's why right. I think it's also a difference why it's like I, I wouldn't do reality at 22 because it's too, it is too, like, you're still trying to figure yeah. yourself out. Oh, and that, no, and right that's now, a real like, thing. Nobody can right. tell me nothing about myself. Right. Like, y'all yeah. can edit it the way you need to, the way you yeah. want to, but I still am going to be me. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, I, and the motherfuckers that are real going to yeah. understand that shit. Yeah. If right. you don't you yeah. still watching <laughs> <laughs> no 100 percent. that's definitely a fact I, I definitely do agree with that and i do actually when you're agree young and more impressionable when you're young it's mm-hmm. like no because we were more mm-hmm. impressionable yeah. and that was like a big mistake on our end for bgc was we were impressionable by the producers i had never done reality tv mm-hmm. i wasn't in as deep in the industry as I am now. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't know how manipulative they really could be. Obviously, you know, I came out of that show looking like a bully when really I'm not a bully, like at all. That's Mm -hmm. never been in my character. Like, will I cuss a bitch out? Will I quit a bitch? Absolutely. Will you eat a bitch? Well, what? But anyways. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, wait, clear the (laughs) plan. Wait, clear the plan. I ate. No. Uh, (laughs) Eat a bitch. What are you talking about? But like, shy. yeah, when you I was, not shy. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping, bitch. You need to calm down on the champagne. Eh? <laughs> so I'm you know thinking about I mean. eating pussy, y'all. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no but yeah when you're younger you definitely are way more impressionable and like as I, I don't know I just I think that now like if I would I just I think because I already did it I wouldn't do it again I feel like with you we watch like First we of all, two of them. yeah, like we said, we did our homework. So we watched yeah. only two episodes because that shit gives me a fucking migraine. Yeah. But <laughs> we watched it and bitch, I was like, period. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I mean, it really ain't too many real bad bitches on that show. And like, that's the thing that people don't understand. People always gonna hate on a bad bitch. You can't mm-hmm. call yourself a baddie or a bad bitch if you're really a hater because bad bitches ain't hating. Yeah. Happy hoes ain't what? Hating. Okay, so that's I just what that, that is. That's why it's like always good to take control of your narrative. Narrative. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you can't let people try to paint you as something that you're not. Yeah. That's why I think that I think you should do something like this again <laughs> because <No>. then <laughs> you can tell people you're not a bully and you don't have to mm. keep fighting that same fight. But honestly, I, I feel do think like you should do reality, but not that type I'm of reality. Not, in that, no, I don't yeah. mind doing reality mm. again eventually mm. if it the opportunity arises. But like I've turned down a lot of shows throughout the years or whatever. Mm. And if the right one really came along, I said I would do Real Housewives. I said I would do like some shit like that where it's not, Mm -hmm. you know, just constant fighting and shit like that. Because for me, I take that shit personal. Yeah. I'm not about to just be fighting with you and And then then be around you the next day. No, I don't understand that either. day and i don't want to be looking crazy on tv i already did that shit (laughs) so yeah so when so the most recent one that we watched was Mm -hmm. the most recent this is going to come out uh when another episode drops and we haven't seen that one yet so how is it dealing with them after that happened you know like the so you got into a fight you got into three fights on Mm -hmm. the the episode that we seen yeah it was one with this girl who just got in the house which i thought was completely out of line hating weird i completely that was for no reason when you you was like staring at the girl or whatever that was nothing that was out of nowhere so that's one and then Mm -hmm. scotty came up to you right after that and then was it Roly? Yeah. So that's yeah. where we ended it off. We ended off with the Roly yeah, thing. So I know well, you can't. I mean, I feel like we should talk about that low key too. Because yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't really watch the show, but since we did watch those episodes, obviously we have our own opinions about that. Mm-hmm. 
And that was disgusting to me. I, yeah. I, if I would have been there, I probably, I don't even know that. We would have like, to been <laughs> brawling together, team bitch. And bitch, like, the thing about it is, I'm like, how do you move on from that after that happens? Like, did y'all like, like what happened? I, Explain that whole day to me, how you felt that whole day, actually. I mean. Because you were sick. Yeah. I just, I just felt like it was a regular old day where bitches are hating and bitches are jealous <laughs> and bitches are bad. It right. was just, the, here's a day in my life. Yeah. I'm crying. What happens mm -hmm. when people don't like me, even if I'm just quiet or whatever, mm -hmm. that's how bright I shine. That's yeah. how yeah. I, I make people so mad mm -hmm. just by being. Yeah. Like that's just what it is. So hello, welcome. Yeah. That's I my that. that's my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like bitches I've been I've been dealing with shit like that yeah. my whole life. Yeah, I see you yeah. say that since middle school. I, I see yeah. that on the about that. We just talked about that on the last episode too. Like that really is a real thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm like for me it's like I don't gotta do nobody ugly. I don't gotta be I'll defend myself, I'll stand yeah. ten toes down. I'm not scared of nobody. Anybody mm -hmm. could get it. I don't care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fought men. So it don't matter to I me. Like, no, Straight no, up. No. No. <laughs> you say, I no man. Yeah. I, I, you know, I done got hit by a dude. Yeah, you know, right, look, look. Yeah. <laughs> Punches but, be strong. Like, I just I just stand up for myself. You know what yeah. I mean? So it just for me, it was just like, but how do I move on from that? I just like then like were you ever around those people again? Yeah, I never I didn't leave the show. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah. I didn't leave the show on the I'm not gonna mm -hmm. let why that's then I would give them what they want. Yeah. Why y'all sure. y'all hating on me because y'all know what I yeah. what it is with me. Y'all mm -hmm. know what's about to pop off with me. So you mad? Yeah. So no, I'm gonna sit here and marinate, and make you more mad. People yeah. will hate you yeah. because everyone loves you. They, they, some yeah. people just have absolutely yeah. no reason, and they want mm -hmm. they want to bring you to your lowest so people they can be like, see, look at her how she act when mm -hmm. she's at her lowest. Yeah. And I'm glad that, that. you stayed mm -hmm. true to who you were on this season, on this episode, because I'm like, I still seen the light shine through you, even mm -hmm. on those episodes. I'm like, and honestly, and I agree with what Winter said, even on watching those episodes, I'm like, she is too, and I'm, look, no disrespect to the baddies or whatever the f they got going on, I don't care, whatever, but like, I literally, like, even seen you then, I was just like, too pretty, too, too yeah. bomb, too this, too that. Because bitches really they, gonna be jealous really of, will a, be, of and a it's real just pretty like, you get know what I mean? And, and we hate well, to let's say show it, but them, it's true. Though. Let's yeah. show them how, because that's because at the end of the day, let's change the narrative. Narrative. Let's show them what a real baddie is. So here right. I am, and now the pretty girls, yeah. the real boss bitches, yeah. have somebody to relate to. Because you got to think about it. At the end of the day, you said you was watching Bad Girls Club when you was young. Mm -hmm. I was watching Bad Girls Club when I was younger, even before yeah. you went on the show. Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah, same. you're looking at this show. I was at, watching when you're Criminal 14, Minds when you're 15. <laughs> oh well, you're just on some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never was watching. I have, I still was like. I'm, I think I was. Uh, I want to do a reaction of watching her oh, episodes. That would be nice. I know, right? Because I'm it like, I've wouldn't. never seen them. It wouldn't. It wasn't even who I am today. But there's little girls watching this show. You know right. what I'm saying? So this they, really is how to be a bad. Bitch. And like, mess, yeah. These me their girls. These girls' messages is fight the prettiest girl in the room. That ain't the that message, is disgusting. Bitch. No, my right. message is be yourself, love yourself unapologetically, and right. stand all ten toes if a bitch mm, try to come right. for you. What? And yeah. be a real bad bitch because yeah, it's just like, come money. on, we're not about to keep acting like these old burnt ass. Just is real bad bitches. They not. They burnt bitches who gonna fight at any fucking drop of anything, and that's not what a bad bitch does. Yeah. No. At the end of the day, you reach a certain point in your life where it's just like, I'm not here to do that. Nine one one. What? Oh, <laughs> no, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because if some of them bitches, I would not be fighting you. Hell no. I would not be fighting. Don't fight shy. She gonna call twelve on your ass. She said it right in there. She is chalk and white on you hoes. Bitch, same. But let me let you know something. It's something. I will not. Look. I'm beast. You will be going into the slammer. I have had to fight. <laughs> Hell no. Literally, no. Nah, we're not doing that. But you know what was crazy to me? I've had to fight. Obviously, I've had to fight all of my life. I've literally only lost one fight. I was in sixth grade, mm. and she was supposed to be in ninth grade, and she fought me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that was the only fight I ever stories. lost. Yes, literally that was the only fight I ever lost. But I've always had to stand ten toes down, ten toes down, and yeah. it's just like at this point, as an adult, my knees be creaking, my wrists be hurting. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing all that no more. It's yeah. just like we're not here for that. I'm here to be pretty and be a bad bitch, and that's just yeah. it. Yeah, and that's what I feel like you elude that type of confidence, mm -hmm. and it just really just makes bitches yeah. mad. I feel like I've learned that we actually relate on a lot more than I even knew because Ooh. like. Me and you. Mm -hmm. I just think that, because that really is a thing. Like, you know, when you're confident, people don't like when you're confident yeah. and you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. People expect you to be with your head down and act like overly humble because you are, you know, you have a like a radiating personality. Are you fucking passing around alcohol? Oh, sorry. Okay, let me get some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but any 
anyways, I don't even fucking know where I was going with that. She radiates oh. per- y'all relate yeah, more. You radiate yeah, you radiate a personality, and like I feel like. You know, not to bring anything back to me, but like I relate to <laughs> that. Okay. I do relate to that. Like, yeah. you know, and I think that just seeing you on there, it was like, I'm happy that you stood 10 toes, bitch, because yeah. them bitches was weird as fuck. And I'll say it right here, right now, Scotty, you're a weirdo. And Rolly, you're a weirdo. And you're a big ass bully. And everybody want to call me a motherfucking bully. Bitch, you the fucking bully. I just Anyways. feel like it was irrelevant for her, like for them to even be doing Scotty's pussy. Why the fuck? would you you had this bitch on the bus you had her in your face in front of the house and then the only time you're gonna fight this bitch is when the next bitch bomb on her for no reason but then you're gonna run up and try to and do your big one sick too that oh that's God, really on Benadryl, bitch. i know but, but yeah. i don't even want to fight like, oh, <laughs> yeah. you fight like you're fighting a dream <laughs> no, do y'all <laughs> dreams be so oh, no. that <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like i'm trying to do all worst that fight ever. i'm crying <laughs> bitch i'm about to and fight black down drugs like fuck i hope i don't fight she be dodging that shit Oh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, y'all trying to pull my bundles out, pull the scales down, oh, bitch. Now I'm trying to get yeah, exactly. And I was just like, oh, she still looks so pretty. Right. Just like, I'm like, why are you doing all I that? that? I'm, I'm glad, bitch. you know what? I'm glad. You know what they, you, oh man, this this is good. This is good because it's good. <laughs> it's good for people. This is good. No, this is good. Always try, it's good. It's great. Because no, because everybody always tries to make it like, oh, pretty girl advantages. How about the disadvantages? Now y'all see. Right. Yeah. Now no, y'all 100%. See. Cause that cause I, see people talk about see. pretty privilege. What about mm-hmm. the disadvantage to being a pretty bitch with a little bit of personality? Because I don't think you've ever <laughs> yeah. done anything like that was too extreme for them to be like, I just don't like. Like you just being yourself. and Never. That, and that, yeah. Never. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I'm, I come with the jokes. I come with the good vibes. If somebody being weird to me or be like, then yeah, bitch, it's on. But mm-hmm. I don't start shit with nobody for no reason. I feel like I don't care to yeah. because I'm, you're not even in my peripheral. I'm in my own little world. Hello, T world. <laughs> so she was talking about her following and like how like they have, it's like kind of like a cult following like for Bad Girls Club. Do you feel yeah. like you've gotten the same thing? Like the following has just kind of been like little culty. Are, like, are they aggressive? How is it with them? Well, I have heard you mention that before, and mm-hmm. I was thinking that um, these fans are much different than the fans from Bad from Girls Bad Club. Girls Club. Mm-hmm. Really? Because How? at the end of the day, you got to think about it. Aren't we like kind of considerably isn't now in like Gen Z? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So people have more of a like of an understanding of like what's right and wrong because mm. that whole generation has been basically putting that out there like yeah this is mm. not right you guys can't say this about people this mm. is not right like you guys, more canceling you know I mean? yeah like like don't so, call that bitch a fat bitch you called her fat albert uh, this, so mean, they didn't well nobody cared about that because well it's she true. was fat and <laughs> number two she was mean to me yeah, yeah she was mean to me she, and i'm a big advocate for when it comes for you everything is on the table so yeah. i don't really care because if you come for mm. my body being faking with a fake ass bitch i'm calling you a big fat sloppy baked bean ba- built ass <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I think there's just limits, right? Like, you can't talk about people's kids and stuff. Yo, yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's there's things that you can go off limits. But if I just called her fat out of nowhere, then that's body shaming. Yeah. But people don't want to talk about when they body shame the girls that have their ass done or their tits done yeah. or their mm-hmm. lips done. And it's all they body, body shaming, shaming yeah. me on air, too. That so is, yeah. it is what it is. That mm-hmm. actually is interesting that you say, like, the fans for baddies is, like, different because it's, like, Gen Z. And they're, they're more, more like, woke. They're more woke. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, also the CEO or whatever, the the... What is Natalie on there? Is she the CEO? Executive producer. Executive producer on there was, you know, on Bad Girls Club calling dark skin girls monkeys with wide noses. So, I mean, you would think that the Gen Z, you know, fan base was like as woke as they say they it. are. But, you, you know, the the executive mm-hmm. producer was on there calling black girls monkeys and okay. ghetto. So They bring that up um, often about the the, uh, the issues of the colorism within the cast and stuff really? like that. Mm. Um, the girl that originally had fought me, the first girl that had fought me. Mm-hmm. She uh she went on live not too long after that and saying she, what saying that I wasn't black or I wasn't black enough um, oh yeah saying you know. that I was just some just I wasn't even she said I wasn't even black at all and that's um the definition of reverse colorism yeah actually mm-hmm. you know we talk about that all the time on this show oh really so, yeah we oh, do. well because you're biracial too no no Where are you both of my parents are black they just light skin she oh, might be so she might be biracial oh, technically we gonna see we gonna take a both look my, no, oh, yeah, both so my parents you're but you know what I want that's different. I want to, yeah, I'm Creole. So, and I'm from Louisiana. So, it literally is a. I, I wanted to ask you this because remember when we had episode nine, when yeah. she was just like, uh, there was a, there, even within the biracial community, biracial 
people is that a word to say yeah yeah they my racial <laughs> people <don't> say <laughs> yeah i know right they're like they think it's a difference between having a black mom oh yeah and a white dad and you have yeah. a black mom uh -huh. and a white dad do you feel like it's a difference between those two i think it's a difference in what community you were raised in mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i was raised my mother was a single black mother mm -hmm. when she raised me and my brother yeah and so the dad was your dad wasn't in the picture at I all mean, my dad was in the picture but the court only gave him every other weekend mm -hmm. and my dad was outside yeah. Like, he was outside. My dad was married, but he was outside doing yeah. whatever he wanted to do. So mm -hmm. I would go with my mm -hmm. white grandma, yeah. you yeah. know, for that other every okay. other weekend or whatever the case was. So it's going to be different of depending on the environment that mm -hmm. you're yeah. raised in. And that's also why I think that even for makes people like, I don't think it's necessarily fair to like, like basically segregate us by our parents because mm -hmm. like also it depends on how your yes. parents were as a unit and mm -hmm. like how they were separately because like with me, it's like with my white family, I don't feel like I really got the full like Caucasian experience. You get what I mean? Like, wait, my family's from Unless the Bay. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like, I didn't grow up with like white family members who like side eyed at black people or like mm -hmm. came from money and thought they were better than somebody. Yeah. So like, I never really felt a sense of community within white people. And I never really felt a full sense of community mm -hmm. within black people, even though I felt like that was the community I belonged in. So I, I just don't think it's fair when like, you know, all the mixed kid tries all as biracial people we try to segregate mm. amongst ourselves like, why is there so much segregation i feel like with my family like both of my parents are they everybody in my family either looks like me or darker we're okay. all multiple different shades mm -hmm. multiple mm -hmm. different colors and it's just like i i mean i grew up around a wide variety of just just ranges of different ranges and i feel like my my dad's side is bougier than my mom's side. I got an uncle that is who had an electric bike. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, <laughs> yeah, we on my mom's side. So it's just like, <laughs> we had a you dishwasher in our house. No, we never had a dishwasher in our house. No, me neither. And I used to think that was and the like, pinnacle of money. Yeah, literally. Aww. And it's just like, we didn't have a dishwasher. We lived in like, and it's just like, it, everybody goes through their own different shit. And it's just mm. like, we gonna be compared to the bottom of the barrel at the end of the day are we gonna be here at the top because of who, what we look like and i just feel like it's unfair altogether and it's just like yeah oh. yeah it's always gonna be like that they are gonna yeah. just separate us and that's just patriarchy and what this basic <laughs> the korea white male yeah. patriarchy and what this it country is. was no, built real. on because my, we, oh, wouldn't even like my have, mom. we wouldn't even have issues if it wasn't for slavery and it wasn't exactly. for uh, light-skinned black people yeah. going inside the house and black dark-skinned black people yeah. going in the uh, cotton field. It wouldn't be like I, that. Exactly. I and knew it's just like I would never win this like war yeah. when I was in middle school and literally they told me I was uh not black the whole time I was in middle school and mm -hmm. I started dating a white boy and this uh, one of my one of my classmates, he was black, he came up to me, he was like, That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the f I can't win for losing. Yeah. Like, I can't they don't want me to be with a black guy. They don't want me to be with a white guy. Like yeah. it was always like I yeah. said, and that was the day I knew. I said, it's yeah. never, I'm never going to be And me messing with black enough. men, it's like, oh, you think you black because you sit on black dick. And it's like, oh, what? Like, I can't fucking win. Like, I can't do anything. And this, this is where I ha I feel like a difference with, within the biracial community because I don't, like, there are certain things that I really don't feel or don't relate to because yeah. if right. I were, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They're not white. Because yeah. I really, yeah, it's just oh. like, there are certain things that I can't relate to, even though I am fair skinned, mm -hmm. I really am, but I grew Still up different. in a, yeah, I grew yeah. up in a yeah. black yeah. community. Because as long as you're like, as, as soon as you say both my parents are black, then that conversation kind of gets like diminished. Yeah. It's well, a very different. And there's still like, and we still, I still do understand the same struggles of just being light skinned in a black community. I do understand those yeah. things, but I also grew up in the South. So that is completely different as well. It's like, we mm -hmm. all, we're all joined together at the end of the day because it is so systematically racist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, it's like, I'm still black. They, they would I mean, not we're care. we're from California. Yeah, so, so it is yeah, more, it's, different out it's here. open out here. But in the yeah. South, like I had to readjust to being like, oh, okay. I can be just like who I am. They're like, they're not just, they're not Asian and they're not considered white. They're just Asian. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everything was combined together in the South. So when I came out here, it was like a culture shock for me. But like, I'm like, to me, it's just, it's just different. Yeah. And it's just certain things that I hear and I'm just like. I mean, when I was younger, I really didn't, like people called me a uh, uh, Oreo in school and mm -hmm. shit like that. And like, you know, said their little sly comments or whatever the fuck. But like, it wasn't that serious to me until I became like a known person on social media. And then it was like people from other parts of America, mm -hmm. you know, could state their opinions and shit. 
people who come from places that are extremely racist, who come mm -hmm. from like, mm -hmm. you know, places like the South, you know, and they like think of it as one way. And it's like, I didn't even grow up yeah. in that yeah. type of mindset. Like when I grew up, I didn't think like, oh yeah, I can't, I have like white family. And like, mm -hmm. it just wasn't like that. Really where I'm from, if you were black culturally, a lot of people will look past a lot of shit. Like mm -hmm. if you were black. So like white, you people, like could say, black. white people could say in the Bay. They do. Yeah, they do. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't like they it, do. but they do. No, but people now, like when I say it. Yeah, but, now, but <laughs> like, now, obviously, because everything is more woke, like, no, mm -hmm. like, it's not really as accepted. But I yeah, do that remember, I, I remember being back in school and there would be white kids saying the N-word. And if they said the N-word and they were like, e white? No, not ER. Ain't nobody right? hitting oh, that hard ER. Yeah, what? No, but like, if the kids were like white saying it, Motherfuckers will be ready to jump them. Yeah. Mexican kids will be ready to jump them. Uh, you know, uh, white kids will be ready to jump them. If you're a black culturally, yeah. if you are like black inside, people will just kind of turn an eye. Like, it's cool. You know, he's down. He's that's black. About New York too. Yeah, that's like uh, that. Really is some like California type but shit. East Coast, they but now it's like not really too. like that yeah, anymore. That's what I'm yeah, they, they yeah. Do but honestly, to where I'm from, it, it wasn't like that at all, and it really was just like. No, like I told yeah. you, remember when I told you it was like they had certain, it was literally predominantly white in a lot of yeah. places and they would say certain things like, is the last bastion of white hope. They would like, I've been called, as fair as I am, I've been called, I've been like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. just, it, that's just what it was for me. Yeah. yeah I'm Wait, saying, we just didn't, I just didn't I, grow Somebody up. called me that though too. When the hard I ER? In, yep. Hard <laughs> ER. Uh, I'll never forget little uh, Mexican kid. Um, in uh, middle school, mm -hmm. Pe people in Orange <laughs> County though, and so in Orange County, I was the only black kid. That's all yeah. it takes. That's what people don't understand. All mm -hmm. it takes, all you mm -hmm. need. They said back in the day, all you one. need is that one percent, mm -hmm. and you were black. Yeah. So no, and that's really that's what, what it was he called back me in the N word day. hard R, and I beat the shit out of him, and then I got expelled. I'm yeah. crying. My Honestly, life. people growing up, I think they more so thought I was Mexican. Or Armenian. I can see I, Armenian. Until I told them, like, what I was. So I feel like if... I definitely felt judged from, like, mm. you know, like, you know, rich or white people. And I've talked about this before. I never really felt like they looked at me like, you're good enough or anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think they thought I was, like, Hispanic. Yeah. Or something. I can see that. You you definitely look like a mix. But I can't speak for all, like... I mean, I can't speak for dark some people at all. But I just feel like it's different when we were younger and, like it was really socially acceptable to be light-skinned. So it's like we can't mm -hmm. really understand or feel where they're coming from I think, to yeah, be back that. Back in the day, back, back in the day, day it was like, bash dark skin like, girls. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And so it's just like I can see where it comes from yeah. because I do like to be understanding and see where people's perspective is. Like Lil Wayne had that song. It's like beautiful brown skin. I bet that bitch look better red. Just mm -hmm. to hear things like that, I can't imagine being yeah. a brown skin woman right. and to grow up in that type of culture. So it's yeah. like I can understand both perspectives of it and it kind of like... No, I just under fucked up. You know, I can understand me. it for sure too. I just think like like what I said. It's like you don't have just because you're pro black doesn't mean you yeah. have to be like. And anti I agree with that. Yeah. Anybody who's biracial and it's like yes, back in the day in the '90s, it was like I think that a lot of more people like lusted over light skinned women and it was more yeah. vocally acceptable to like talk about that and of course that's going to cause insecurities yeah. in women and feel like okay like I'm not good enough or whatever the case may be. But now in this day and age, it's like. It's opposite. Mm -hmm. like, and I'm glad yeah, they get a nation. I'm glad yeah. that but everyone honestly, is able to though, excel. Like, I talk about this a lot within my family because I grew up with a lot of dark-skinned women in my yeah. family. Mm -hmm. And then also I have a lot of dark-skinned friends and we have these types of conversations. Mm -hmm. And I mean, regardless of the downput, maybe there may have been in the, in the past, mm -hmm. like, a lot of the women that I know that are dark skin are very confident. Yeah, and they don't uh, we said feel, the same thing. They yeah. don't feel like mm -hmm. less than compared to same a light with my friends. Yeah. and my it's, one of my best friends. Yeah, same way. It's mm -hmm. like that. It, it really most of the time. I swear to you guys, as much as like that's what I'm saying. It's really patriarchy. As much as men would like to make it seem like it's like a dark skin versus light skin type yeah. of woman thing, it really is other shit that is deep rooted. Yeah, that it has something else to do with. It has something else because it's it's not always that because there's a a lot of um what light skin women that be mean as oh yeah 100 yeah. percent like it don't uh, even have anything yeah. to do just with just being an ugly person skin, on the inside because yeah it's just your yeah. ugly your soul your spirit yeah. and that's what I'm more pay attention to like and that's one of the things that I can say that they really tried to put into me as a child like 
yeah, you're black. Yeah, you're white. Yeah, you're biracial. Mm -hmm. But you're human. You're mm -hmm. you don't. Same. Everybody is human. Yeah. You don't have to be looking at color. You don't have to be judging people. My brother yeah. is dark skin, and there have been a lot of times where I have had to be like, "You're not gonna do that." To yeah. my brother, just because of the color of, right. skin, of his skin, right. or something like that, you know what I mean. But we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna even. We we can't give light to that no more. It's yeah. 2023. It's about to be 2024, and everybody about to be mixed. No, really, though. <laughs> everybody about to be mixed. Yeah, I, yeah I, I think that I'm just I'm thankful to be raised like that too. Like I'm mm -hmm. thankful that I ra I was raised looking at people like people and I wasn't I was never raised looking at the color of anybody's skin I'm, I'm thankful that I came from California I'm thankful that I came from the Bay Area because I didn't have that experience where I looked at people as like a segregated bunch yeah. I really just looked at people and that's what I looked at them as yeah I think it's just unlearning those behaviors that you were taught as a child even with mm -hmm. white people they have to unlearn those things that they like or just any race honestly you have to unlearn certain things that aren't actually right the older you get the more you understand mm -hmm. what's actually right and what's wrong and I feel like I think a lot of people are doing that now. They're waking yeah. up, they're understanding, they're going back to those people that are their aunts, their uncles and aunts, their grandmothers that are racist and be like, no, this isn't right. So I'm yeah. glad that people are now speaking up on issues that are mm -hmm. relevant to today, 2023. 100%. I mean, we gonna speak on it every time. We gonna have and to honestly, this is really what? taking a turn. I know. To we something completely been... different. We have a whole bunch of notes, y'all. We were having we such had... a lighthearted we conversation. But, that is... but those conversations are good. Yeah. And that's what's yeah. behind the likes. Real yeah. deep, real shit yeah, and where you think it came from and me and Tia have actually on baddies you no know, me and Tia have had <laughs> we've talked about it kind of a briefly in a moment and like we've talked about you know me going through my little shit and she's like I I understand like I relate I hear you like da 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 so I mean it is interest, interesting conversations and people have reached out to me who are mixed and said like I'm thankful that like mm -hmm. you guys speak up about it because we should be able to. And yeah. it's hurtful. Yeah. It's, 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 it is hurtful. Colorism is hurtful. And so is, it's the same thing as reverse colorism. Yeah. At, colorism in all sides of the, of the, of the spectrum, it's hurtful. Yeah. And it nobody sure should is. have to go through that. N not, especially not now. Yeah. Especially like, it's like, we're all supposed to be so woke now, but it's like, at the end of the day, like, I do go through a lot of shit because of the color of my skin, not looking black enough, you know, like whatever. And it's just like, well, damn, bitch, that's two steps back. Like, mm. that's very interesting, <laughs> oh very hypocritical. But I mean, two steps hey, back. That's <laughs> two why steps asking back. people, I'm like, are we still in the 1950s? Yeah, like, what I'm is confused. Going on? <laughs> so how do you deal with like uh, jealousy and hate now that you've reached this platform not regarding your skin color? Yeah, we not, just no, mean yeah, in general. Yeah, just in general, we're yeah. turning it back to like, you know, this new the light. Topics. I, I think that I honestly just take it, you know, when you can like, you can just take energy and like mold it into like something else. Mm -hmm. I just mold it into my own positivity. Yeah. I really don't try. I try not to let it affect me anymore. Used to like hurt my feelings. Like the reverse colorism comments, those hurt my feelings yeah. because that's like deep rooted and I mm -hmm. have to still have to work on that. Yeah. But like when it comes to people being jealous, some most of the time I really like, if I see somebody like the girl that fought me, she was looking at me, mm -hmm. she was staring at me so hard and I was just like, oh, she's one of those girls that's insecure. She probably thinks she's ugly. So I told her, even though I was lying, I said, you're so pretty. Like, <laughs> you're, so I think that whenever I felt Not like- even though I was lying, you're so girl, pretty. You gonna have some shit when y'all go to the reunion. F that bitch. You better be <laughs> I'm not gonna be sick at the reunion. You better like, be, you're not going to the reunion? No, I'm not going to no, be sick. No, she's not going to be sick. I'm not going to oh, be yeah, sick. Oh, yeah, no. You better be out there thought. throwing hands, but, T. So basically the thing is that you just feel confident in yourself to know that, like, anything they can't. Yeah, like, I, I, I love that. I love that. Period. Y'all do remind me of each other. Look. <laughs> like, I could be sitting here, like, uh, pick me apart. There are people talking about, mm, uh, I got my lips done. My eyes don't look right. I'm chunky. You got a nice ass. I um, got a cock eye. And I'll still nice. take your nigga. <laughs> hey. Wait, are you in a relationship? Yeah. What? Wow. I stayed in a relationship. Look, look oh, same. same. Look. <laughs> we were here with it. I love a little relationship. Same. I love a little Honestly, so does Shiloh Key. What? I've been in a relationship for like three years. Yeah, I know. I'm oh. saying. You My longest relationship. relationship. Wait, I was single for, relationship? I was single for three. Six. My longest relationship. No, no, no. Six. Straight? Straight. Ooh. My mm -hmm. longest relationship was like three years. I know. I'm going to say. Yeah. I know. Six is crazy. Six what about is you? Three. Yeah. yeah. Three years. Yeah, no, we was never on and off. Off and on? No, it was like pretty much solid. I mean, he was a cheater, but you know. Hey. But you stayed down. We were young. You stay, I stayed you down. Was, I don't stay I down no stay more, bitch. Him, that ain't yeah. I was young. You yeah. know, it was my first real, first I real, first real love. Yeah, first real love. First real love. Cheat. 
leave the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that leave shit either. And the only reason why girls are staying now when they cheat is because they like the money. I'm they get not the dealing with no cheaters no more. Whatever else they got going on. Girl, get your own Get back. your, I was about to say, but you know, how the money to buy your I'm not dealing like, with no cheaters no more. I'm cool off that. I'm like, so how long have you been in a relationship? Oh, my new relationship is just like a year. Like, a okay. year? Yeah, we just started getting, you know, cracking. Okay. Yeah. That's I, yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Does he live with you or you live with him? Or they, they no, we don't home? live together. Oh, y'all live together? But we okay. just be with each other every day. Right. Uh, like, okay. if, whether I'm at my crib or his crib, mm -hmm. like, we'd be going back So, you, with, do yeah. you broadcast your relationships, like, kind of, or no? Not really. I didn't. I wouldn't know. No. 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 When Instagram first came out, like, that was, like, you know, everybody <laughs> was just, you know posting whatever yeah. they want. People are posting I do their damn not, food. I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I do not want to do the public relationships. Yeah. I don't even like know who I, I mean, people know what <laughs> I <f> with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, same. I like, maybe when I get married, you know, yeah. maybe it might mm -hmm. be different. She said the same thing. Yeah. yeah I'm just, I don't, it's just too many people in the business and they just shit up every time it's like maybe i, don't, I need to move like that it i don't do need fun, you my shit. like don't you it's see, like like i do post like stupid stuff like me laying on the lap or like uh, like soft I mean, launches yeah, yeah. Soft launches. but it's like because it's it do just be, hard it do be fun. but because people are not my i don't know about your fan base but my fan base they're investigators bitch they have been trying to find out who my man is for since i started talking to him and i'm just like she be leaving context clues now. She not. not really. No, I really don't. don't. With this relationship, I do not at all. You will not know what city I'm in. You do not know what he does for a living. I mean, people kind of know what he does for a living. Yeah. But I mean, what? football. <laughs> I don't even tell <laughs> people that. Football player. Whatever. <laughs> he's no, actually, he's a sweetheart though. He's, he's a sweetheart. Basketball. No, he is a sweetheart. My That's my nice. man is a sweetheart. Uh -huh. We XOXO. We love him over here. But you know, we are gonna see if it works out. How long have you guys been dating? Just not that long. Some months. Yeah, then we're not even at like any like a year or nothing. Yeah, so. then it's okay. Yeah, it's cool. So we do have to wrap this up though. So <laughs> that's what she was just telling me. I was like, yes, that then it's cool. So we have to wrap this up. Yeah. Um, maybe asking for more hours, but yeah. we ain't got it. So we do have to wrap this up. So what do you see next? I know Baddies is currently right now. Yeah. So what do you see for you in the future? What do you have going on that is exciting that will be happening after that? I think that, you know, my music is going to be doing what it's Purr. supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. People are going to hear more of me. You're going to see me more on the screen like you always do. Ain't shit going to change. Everything's just going to expand more and more for my career as I planned it to. So stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe their video. But also yes. like and comment and subscribe on my videos too. Come to my YouTube channel. Come to my Instagram. Hi, my name's T. And come check me out, y'all. And also, I think we do have a little mm -hmm. bit of an announcement for everybody. <gasps> oh, yeah. 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 Go ahead, uh, wait, 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 um, so we are me, Shy, T, and Heather Sanders are coming out with a live streaming show. Y'all know y'all want to see us more than once. You'll see us there as well. Yeah. It's like, and we have T, which is obviously a great personality. Good yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you guys like me. No, I actually love her. I'm like, I love her. I love her personality. Yes. Everything I love about you her. Too. And it's just so fun. It's something that's just light. It's real chill. Like it's gonna yeah. be all of us. It's gonna be alive. so fun. And cute. Like, she's yeah. trying to be humble. It's gonna be so cute, it's so lit, be so real. Yeah, like, it's gonna be so, all shit. of those things, and that's just a way for you guys to see us multiple times a week yeah. and mm -hmm. have our friends all come together. We're all being business ladies mm -hmm. together, and I'm just excited because they really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They're both hella funny, hella cool, and like it's just gonna be a good ass time. And this is yeah. for the ladies. So. This is for the ladies. And Screaming. We're trying to be streaming. the next so Kai be, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're Kai Sinat Juniors. Let's yeah, go. come on, okay. Kai. Girl versions. We're yeah. making a yeah. whole group. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all get ready for that. Get ready. We're gonna put the Instagram right mm -hmm. here so y'all can definitely yeah. uh, tune in and stay tuned for what we got going on so you guys are up to date. date. Yeah. Bye. 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 See you later. Thank you for tuning in.